The next example is a classic right atrial myxoma in an obese elderly male. The transesophageal examination best elucidated the cardiac tumor. In this case, notice that the mass is pedunculated and inserts at the valve of the fossil vallus, characteristic, if not pathognomonic, of an atrial myxoma. Note that the mass prolapses through the orifice of the tricuspid valve and nearly fills the total right atrial cavity. This is an example of a benign fibroma of the left ventricle in a 20-year-old male. Note that on this parasternal long-axis view, there's a hydrorefractile ovoid mass in the posterior wall of left ventricle. These tumors are not encapsulated, but frequently appear as a well-circumscribed hydrorefractile mass, usually embedded in the myocardial wall. When small, they're usually benign, although have been associated with arrhythmias. When large, they can be excised surgically. This particular mass was found incidentally in an otherwise healthy young man. This is a short axis left ventricular scan in the same individual Note that the ovoid mass is adjacent to the postromedial papillary muscle. This well-circumscribed hydrorefractile mass is characteristic of a benign cardiac fibroma. It is unchanged in size for over three years and thus is being observed. Larger impinging masses frequently are surgically excised.